a warm welcome for everyone to session number 40 in the part of react learning series in this session we will continue discussing about routing if we take a look at the output of our previous session this is the application we have developed so far in the employee component we are displaying the list of employees in a table now we would like to provide edit option against each row of the employee data when we click on edit we should be navigated to edit employee view when we are navigating to the edit employee view we have to carry the employee id from this component to the next component so that the edit employee component can use that id send api request get the employee data and display the employee data so that user can make changes to the data if needed resulting this is how our application is going to look like by the end of this session in this session we will understand how to create dynamic urls and how to carry the employee id from one component to the other component through url parameter let's open index.js file from our demo project let's go to employee.js file in this employee component we are displaying the list of employees in a table let's add a header column and i give the text as actions let's go to the table body within this cell let's place one anchor tag edit is the text to this anchor tag Let's pass href value. Assuming that we will add a new route with the path as slash employee slash we will pass employee ID. We get the employee ID from our EMP object emp.id. Based on the employee ID, URL will be framed. We are done with doing the required changes in our employee component. Now we will create a new component in which we will display the employee details for edit. Let's go ahead and create a new JavaScript file in src folder. I am naming it as editemployee.js. And here we will create a component called as edit employee component. I have the contents of this component handy and I am pasting it here. If we take a look at our edit employee component, it is accepting one parameter through which properties will be passed to this component. And we have created one employee state variable and we have a hook called as use effect. We are returning one div container in which we have placed all the input elements, followed by a button to update the data. And finally, we are exporting edit employee function. Now, within this component, we have to write the code to get the employee ID from the URL parameter and then we have to send one web API request to get the corresponding employee details. So let's go to our use effect hook and here we write the code to send the web API request. I have that code handy as well and I paste it here. This is the code which we have used to send the API request to get the list of employees. Now we have to send the request to get the details of specific employee so for that we will be sending the employee id we get the employee id which is passed through the url from the other component using our properties parameter object that object has a property called as match dot the url parameter values can be obtained by using another object called as params dot the parameter name assuming that we will be passing the id value through a parameter called as id we are sending the web api request by passing the employee id we get the result and then we update our employee state variable and that object details are displayed in the respective input elements now let's go to our index.js file let's add a new route component and to this route component, we will pass the path. 
if we remember the way how we have configured our anchor tag in the table we have configured href value as forward slash employee slash we are passing the employee id that means our route is going to have two segments first segment is employee and the second segment is going to be the id a small typo here let's remove s so here we write path equals to forward slash employee forward slash we want to specify the next parameter that is id but we want to make that parameter as dynamic so we prefix id with colon and we will pass the component it's going to be edit employee we have added a new route component here and this route component path is having two segments first one is employee which is static one and the second one is id and we are passing our anchor tag href value in line with the path configured save these changes let's click on edit of employee whose id is 101 we are in the edit employee component and we can see that the employee details are being displayed in edit mode we can check the url we can see that employee slash 101 so the id is passed through the url Let's go back and we can click on any other record and we can see the respective employee details are being displayed here and we can check the URL as well. In this session, we have discussed about creating dynamic URLs and passing values from one component to the other component when we are navigating. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.